Which molecule has the smallest bond angles? A. Methane B. Ammonia or C. Water The first thing we need to do to answer this question is to draw the Lewis structures of methane, ammonia, and water. Then we determine the steric number for the central atom in each molecule. The steric number is the number of regions around an atom with high electron density. This is just equal to the number of bonds in lone pairs. Each lone pair consists as one region. A single bond consists as one region. Let's examine the structures. The central atoms for our structures are carbon for methane, nitrogen for ammonia, and oxygen for water. Now let's determine the steric number for the central atoms. For the carbon atom in methane, the steric number is 4. Each single bond consists as one region of high electron density. Here we have four single bonds. 1, 2, 3, 4. How about ammonia? Here we also have a steric number of 4 for the nitrogen atom. 1, 2, 3, 4. For water, the steric number of the central atom is also 4. There are 4 groups of electrons sticking out of the oxygen. 1, 2, 3, 4. According to the Vesper theory, Four regions of high electron density would need to be oriented towards the corners of a tetrahedron in order to be as far away from each other as possible. But what is a tetrahedron? Imagine a cube. If we put our central atom in the middle of this cube, then the four corners of the tetrahedron are indicated here by the green circles. What we have just drawn is a three-dimensional representation of the shape of methane. Carbon is in the middle of the tetrahedron and each of the four corners of the tetrahedron has a hydrogen atom. If we trace a path from any corner of the tetrahedron through the center atom to another corner and measure the angle, we find that this angle is 109 degrees and 28 minutes. To the nearest tenth of a degree, it's 109.5 degrees. This angle is called the tetrahedral angle. And we say that the center atom is a tetrahedral center. When all the groups sticking out of the central atom are identical, which is the case in methane, we get a perfect tetrahedron. This is not the case with ammonia and water. In ammonia, one of the groups is a lone pair. So, there is no atom at the other end of that group. A lone pair repels other groups more strongly than a single bond. Therefore, the single bonds in ammonia ends up being slightly closer together. The actual bond angle is around 107 degrees instead of 109.5 degrees. In water, two of the groups are lone pairs and the single bonds are still slightly closer. The actual bond angle is around 104.5 degrees. To summarize, the central atom in CH4 has a perfect tetrahedral geometry around it. Because of lone pairs, the central atoms in NH3 and H2O have a disordered tetrahedral geometry around them. The bond angles are 109 0.5 degrees for methane, 107 for ammonia, and 104.5 degrees for water. Therefore, the correct answer is C. In case you're wondering about the origin of the term tetrahedron, here's what a tetrahedron looks like if we carve it out of a cube. You can see that it is a perfectly symmetrical pyramid. The four faces are equilateral triangles. Tetra is Greek for the number four, and hedron is Greek for size. A tetrahedron is a four-sided figure. Let's relate this to the cube. To find the one corner of a tetrahedron, 
Pick any of the corners of the cube. You'll notice that the three faces of the cube intersect at this corner. To get to the three other corners of the tetrahedron, simply imagine a diagonal line starting from the corner you picked and go across each of these faces. Here are some three-dimensional representations of methane, ammonia, and water. The methane molecule shape is tetrahedral. The carbon atom is in the center of the tetrahedron, and the four hydrogen atoms are at the four corners of the tetrahedron. In ammonia, the nitrogen atom is in the middle of a tetrahedron, and the three hydrogen atoms are at the three of the four corners of a tetrahedron. The other corner is empty. The shape is called trigonal pyramidal, with a nitrogen atom at the top of the pyramid and the three hydrogen atoms forming the triangular base. In water, only two of the tetrahedral corners are occupied by hydrogen atoms. The molecule's shape is simply described as bent.